Welcome back. So now that we are up and running and we have our own Git repository ready, let's have a look at what we actually have available uh, in the code. So first of all, you have uh, the default setup of an MDI, uh, sorry, a CLI project in Angular 2, and that's just with the app settings, the, uh, sorry, the app module, the app component, and the different basic app HTML, CSS, and the uh, test files. So that's kind of the basics of an actual CLI if I build it from scratch. I made a few changes, and let's just have a look at that. First of all, of course, I'm using all these nice material, fund awesome, uh, routers, I've set up Hammer.js, so I kind of set up a basic setup for the project that we are going to build. Um, and that's also, everything is inside like a package JSON where I also made a lot of setup for the Fond Awesome, Hammer.js and a lot of other things that we're going to work with. So that's also ready for you. Inside the Angular CLI, there's one very important place, which is um, the prefix here. You might want to change that. Right now, mine is called CP for course planner. That's going to be prefixed inside all your different uh, tags. You have to remember that, meaning that every selector is going to start with CP something. And a selector, if you forgot it, is kind of just every component has a selector. So this is CP home. The auth one is going to be CP or the login one is going to be CP login. So if you want your own name here, that should be unique for your project. So I called mine CP. You might want to call your something else. And you change that inside the Angular CLI file. You can do that later if you want to. It's right here in the prefix. What else is in here? Well, we added the auth setup. So we're going to have some kind of auth service that we're going to work with. That's where we're going to make the first steps to actually start working with Firebase so we can log into Firebase. We have a login screen that just has the very basic login with a username and a password. We're going to change that into an email and a password because that's what Firebase uses. So that's very basic stuff. We have a home component. That's where we start out. We have a toolbar. So if I go to the home component, you'll see there's just a toolbar in the top. And the toolbar is actually just this one you see right here with the login screen. Uh, that's pretty much all we have right now. And then a simple message. And this is the login screen again, very basic. And a button to go back. And of course, routing is working. Like you can see when I click around here, you're being routed. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the code you have available right now. Um, the last thing is pretty much just a basic user TS file here for the actual user that we're going to use with an email, password, and a username. And we're going to add an ID to this later and other things. So that's that's the default setup we have available. Next, we're going to try and create a Firebase account and try and see if we can start working with actually getting authentication running for real on Firebase. Have fun, see you next time.